hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to use clickup for ticketing let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time here with clickup i need you to click the sign up option and from here just to follow with the on-screen instructions and you're good to go Using ClickUp for ticketing can be an effective way to manage and track tasks, issues, and support tickets. So here's how you can set it up. First of all, you need to create a space for ticketing. In my case, once you are on the help desk ticket, you can ensure to have a feature-rich and easy adaptable, ready-to-use, and fully customizable template that you can use. You have the beginner, the immediate, and the advanced. I want you to click on this button right here get free solution and you would be forwarded here on this specific template that we can use to create a ticketing system all right we're going to set up a dedicated space for it all we have to do is click this all right um the workspace is going to be um deep laughs how to tutorials but again you can name it as you can in the list name we can put it something like um supporting tickets Kind of like that supporting tickets or maybe um support tickets now you have to select the folder that you want it to be part of it's gonna be deep laughs of course if you have more than um space or folders you might want to choose um that but for now i'm going to put it on the deep laughs and maybe this for now or maybe i'm going to create a list press enter if you haven't already that's that and then click on the use template just wait for it a little bit because it's gonna start creating your dashboard wherein you have the ticket list take it priority ticket categories ticket status board and ticket submission form all right so you have all of this for example we have someone here from jane smith you have a the plus button to add some tasks for example i'm going to be using this one and for karen johnson you can put the uh let's say an issue or uh, a customer complaint for jane smith and karen johnson all right now on the status here you can click that for example if you are working for an e-commerce store and your business hours are like 24 7 and they rotate on different shifts you can assign those um on hold or canceled um tickets to uh, jane smith while karen johnson would be uh, the one who's going to take over all on the open um statuses for tickets all right this is very useful when you have like um if you wanted to have a CRM kind of ticketing and you don't want to purchase another platform for for that, you might want to leverage the tool of ClickUp, especially if you upgraded to their business plan, right? Now, you see on the top right corner, when you click on the ticket submission form, this is going to be the editing and the preview. Just wait for it. Now, you can provide description of the issue. For example, um delayed item you can enter a text here for, for example like that and you wanted to put in the name of the customer who had who had recently uh maybe just for this um video email is going to be deep laughs at gmail.com and you can provide details of the issue um gonna be delayed item like refund and you can provide attachments as well once you've done that you can go to submit the ticket form right you can also require the priority for that and click on save not only that you can also go to the ticket list again You would be able to see the status of the of all the ticket statuses 
You can always add widgets for open tickets, ticket resolution time, and a lot more. Now, on the uh, bottom left corner, there's going to be uh, the help desk ticket template that we can use. Now, if I click this specific um, task, you can customize this to a sample uh, ticket. For example, I'm going to sample ticket email. And of course, from here, you can add description, something like um, you can write an AI, maybe um, like dear customer, this is going to be the uh, and you can add in more information such as the status, you can add tags. You can add, I'm going to attach an assi uh, file here. Upload file. Now, on the custom fields down here, you can add more if you wanted. For example, I'm going to put in a text. The field name should be um, ticket label. I'm going to create OK. All right. So we would know the status of the uh, ticket if it has been resolved or not and who has it been assigned to. You can also um, put in some uh, change cover here. I'm going to put in something like this change cover and go into upload and attachments. So um, you can be creative when um creating a sub uh ticket an email template for your tickets all right and from here now this sample ticket is assigned to jane smith and of course you can hover back to uh karen johnson and similarly create a template for the email which are going to be assigned to her right now here you can set a reminder to uh, Jane Smith that this ticket is due until tomorrow or uh, this weekend. So he, she will get notified. You see, there's going to be uh, like a one person will get notified from this ticketing um, template. Now, this visibility will allow you to share progress if you're working with multiple clients, your team members or your collaborators. Or upper management without giving them access to internal operations where you're sharing, where you share the link with anyone or giving them the uh, copy link you can invite their name here or the email and once you've done that you would be able to use click out for ticketing system thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next video